How to make a shirt on Roblox Mobile. This new way on making Roblox shirts on mobile is super easy and it's quite a new feature. You can also become very rich on Roblox just from people buying your shirts. So in today's video I'll be showing you how to actually make a Roblox shirt and then of course going on to Roblox and uploading it as a shirt. And no, you don't need tons of skill, you don't need a computer. This is all on just a mobile phone so keep watching just quickly before i have also hidden a robux code in this video and i'll pop out for just a second nobody has actually redeemed it yet so you could be the first i also have robux on my group and if you want some i can enter your username right here so if you do want some comment down below your roblox username and be sure to leave a like and sub and also watch this whole video until the end without skipping okay so the first step is obviously we want to go ahead and design our Roblox shirt. Obviously it does not just have to be Roblox shirts, you can also design Roblox pants and no you don't need to like do some next level skill, you don't have to you download Photoshop or anything like that. Just keep watching and it's so easy, it's easier than you think. So firstly what you want to do is first go onto the app store on your, on your mobile. Now you may be thinking an app that can make Roblox shirts Yes, that is right. There's literally an app out there that you can download and it, you can actually make Roblox shirts so easy. I'll show you. So go ahead right here and type in custom use like this. It's kind of like custom, custom use. But of course, this is it right here. It's called custom use right here. And you can design skins right here. And of course, right here, games. And obviously, you recognize that character. That is a Roblox character. So of course, what you want to do is go ahead and download it. Now, this is actually only on iPhones or tablets. So if you are on Android or anything else like that, what you want to do is just go ahead onto Google or something like that and just search up custom use simply as that. So once you have downloaded the app, all you have to do from now is just simply sign into an account and yeah i'll be back in about a minute okay so once you are on to customize what you need to do now is of course design the shirt now as you see right here there are tons of shirts you can find I'm not even joking there's thousands and i will show you how this actually works so i would recommend you watch this full video and then of course do it after you've watched this full video so obviously from here now it's time to of course do your design so let's just say for example i wanted this one for example um obviously it's not a boys one but i'm just going to show this for an example so let's just say i like the design but i want to make it my own for example so of course at the bottom right it will say remix and what this from well what you can do from here is now actually change the colors you could add images you could do all sorts like accessories right here so for example for an example you can add one right here and it actually add, adds like a backpack to your actual character kind of stuff like that that like if you did want it to have now of course the colors at the bottom left right here you can of course change the colors to whatever you like pretty much as you see right here like i can change the color to like blue for example and make it a blue theme now which I might, I could try that, I guess. Now, let's just say you are completely happy with your design. Let's just say you've picked something, you've changed a few things, you've done a new few colors, whatever, to make a Roblox shirt. So what you want to do from here is press on the top right corner, save. Obviously this shirt right here, it's, I just made it within like, I'm not even joking, about 30 seconds, just to show you like, for example, so go ahead and press the top right on here where it says save and of course right here it will give you like a name of the shirt obviously that will not affect your actual roblox name of the shirt that's just like the actual app so you can like kind of manage it if you make tons you can like search it up i guess so what you want to do from here is press save and publish and it will come up with this right here once it does actually load Yes, it will say outfit is saved and published. And then you can go ahead and press the blue little button, download shirt and pants. So I will now tell you how to actually upload your Roblox shirt using Roblox mobile. Now, once you have saved that, obviously you can't actually upload it using the Roblox app. So you actually have to do this. 
So obviously scroll up right here and what you want to do is just type in this, so type in Safari. Now this is what I use for iPhones and pretty much what you can do with this is of course search up Roblox onto it. Now obviously if you have Google you can use that for example. So obviously I'm going to go onto Safari and of course this is where you can go ahead and search up Roblox. So from here what you want to do is just search up Roblox. Just like this, kind of like an Internet Explorer for example. And yeah, it should come up. So of course I'm going to go ahead and press onto Roblox from here. And yeah, so this is the first stage that you do come across. So firstly it will say continue in app but you do not want to press that. You want to press this right here, continue in browser. You want to go ahead and press continue in browser because Roblox, they are begging you to go into the app, but no, we are not going into the app. We want to go into the browser mode. So of course, it will ask you to log into Roblox. Obviously, if you're already logged in, you're fine. But of course, I'm going to go ahead and log into Roblox. So of course, I have just logged into Roblox and I don't know if this is just me, it might just be me, but it always asks me again to, to continue into the app. But obviously I don't want to continue into the app, I want to go ahead and press continue into browser, just like this, because I do, because I mean that happens to me anyway, like it asks me again after I log in, but yeah. So go ahead and press continue into browser again. Now from here, this is the desktop version of Roblox, but you're on your phone. So firstly, what you want to do is just simply at the top, press create right here. Press this little create button right here at the top. So I am going to go ahead and press create right here. And yes, this is the next stage. Now it will say this, Roblox Studio is available on Windows and Mac, blah, blah, blah. Pretty much telling you that you can't do this. Well, how do you do this? Well, simply what you want to do is, this, so at the bottom left, you may see this, these little two A's at the bottom, so go ahead and press that. There should be like a little arrow at the bottom, you should see it. So go ahead and press that, and it should come up with this. And from here, what you want to do is press Request Desktop Website right here. Press uh, press Request Desktop Website. I can literally forget to speak. But yeah, now once you do that, it will not say, oh yeah, it's just available on Windows and Mac. It will now come up with this. Start creating and manage my experiences. What you want to do is press manage my experiences. So go ahead and press manage my experiences. Now from here, it will come, come up with your games, but obviously we are not making a game. We are making a Roblox shirt on Roblox mobile. So from here, what you want to do is press this right here. So as you see at the top, this little slidey bar at the top, where it says experiences, what you want to do is just press avatar items. Now, obviously right here, you want to make sure it's not the t-shirt tab. You want to make sure it's the actual shirts tab right here. And yes, so these are the shirts and I will actually tell you how to upload it for free as well. So just uh, keep watching for this. But yeah, so t-shirts, shirts and pants. And of course, we are going to go ahead and upload the asset and it should come with this as well. So of course you want to go ahead and press upload again from here. So go ahead and press upload. So this is the shirt that I did actually ask to use. And yes, it will say this right here, like the little shirt bit right here. But from here, what you want to do is just simply do the name, for example, just like here. Now I actually use this app to actually upload this shirt right here, the black hoodie. Now obviously I use this app. And of course, let's just say if you did actually upload it, if you go onto it again, you can actually put it onto sale and set a price for it for 10 Robux. But yeah, that is how to make a Roblox shirt on mobile.